Grand Rising and happy birthday to the Sagittarius. Welcome to your December energy pool. This is what's going on in the month of December. It is a collective reading. So it's not going to resonate for every beautiful, amazing, born Sagittarius. All right, so only take the part that fits. Disregard the rest and please like, share, and subscribe. So Sagittarius, you have financial health. Um, so it's almost like moving forward in December, your finances are going to be healed. A firm foundation, stability, prosperity, abundance. Your roots are going to be firmly planted so your money is growing in December. For some of you guys, you may have had financial issues that has been affecting your livelihood with a spouse. Because you also got family in the reverse. You may have lost a home. You may have had complications within the family about finances here. Someone here may have, someone may have not have been invested all the way. Because you got the lovers and the three of swords. But something is turning around. I did see the will of fortune. So, like, I feel like if you've been dealing with a whole bunch of crap in 2024, all month long, all year long, then moving into December, something is about to change in a beautiful way for you. So, let's see what is your message today, Sagittarius, in this financial, financial health, health. It says, you might find yourself drowning in a sea of red demands if you don't slow down and take stock of the mess you're in. Burying your head in the sand won't get you out of the hole. You're being urged to recognize that your avoidance, uh, inexperience, or irresponsibility has become a liability and you can't afford to ignore your desperate situation. Somebody may have lost a home here or lost a family, and I feel like it's because somebody got another, somebody stepping out, and this is what I see. Because, like I say, you got the lovers and the three of swords. It says here, uh, you're being urged to recognize that your avoidance in it. Okay, okay. The worry, stress, and anxiety that accompanies debt has taken its toll and you don't know where to turn to. Acknowledgement and responsibility weave in a spell to improve your financial health and become debt-free once and for all. So it says stop your extravagance. Somebody been stunting. It says seek professional advice. Money owed is paid off. Expect a windfall. I told you. These are your magical meanings. It says someone, someone is indebted to you. It says have faith as your financial life heals. So like I said, whatever you've been suffering uh, within your life, and I feel like finances is a part of it, I feel like things are about to come back around full circle in a healthy way. But it, but, it, but it's only going to happen. You got to face it head on. You can't deny because, you know, that ain't going nowhere. So you got the lovers here. You could be dealing with the Gemini. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So I see a lot of air energy in here. The Wheel of Fortune could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Leo, a Taurus, or an Aquarius here. So you got fire and air here. Fire, air, and um, earth. You got it all. But you got mo mostly air energy. So I feel like this is uh, mental uh, decisions making. They go the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. And there go the Nine of Wands. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Cups in the reverse. Ace of Cups and the Fool. Somebody got to find the strength to dig themselves out of this. But I feel like it's because somebody been out kicking it too much or somebody been invested in a third party here. Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. It's either it's you or somebody. You did with four Pentacles or somebody's been stingy. And so it's almost like you could have been in a relationship where it was, well, it was divided. Somebody probably wanted to splurge and somebody could have been mishandling the money and spending it out on other people and living their life and, you know, why they're not uh, pitching in here. So this could have been a marriage or someone you live together. But I feel like someone's family has come apart because of a third party and money. So it's almost like somebody was, somebody could be thinking, dang, you know, we got all these financial issues and you out here, you know, with third parties here. Why we ain't working on this? So I do feel like there is a decision that has to be made too. I feel like someone needs to stand in their power, take back their courage, take back their power, and change things. Because I feel like the power is in your hands, Sage, or somebody you're dealing with. But I feel like it's affecting you. So let's see. Why is this financial health here for Sagittarius with the Three of Swords in the reverse? Why is this here? See? Because somebody been out here spending and splurging. There go the Three of Cups. I feel like it's because somebody here has been with a third party. See, overindulgence, nine of cups, drinking a lot. 
And I feel like somebody got questions. The Queen of Swords here. Why is the Three of Swords here in the reverse for Sagittarius with his financial health? Why is this here? I feel like somebody been out splurging and kicking it with outside influences and ain't been investing into the home. The high priest is here. Either someone's not been trusting their intuition or somebody's secrets are about to come out. They go to five of wands in the reverse. That somebody took a chance somewhere and they're going to regret it. I feel like somebody took a leap of faith on a, on a third party here. And now they're stressed out about it. Here, see? Oof. So why is the lovers here for uh, Sagittarius with this financial help? health I feel like somebody took a chance with the competition with the third party and they're regretting it because I feel like stuff fell apart see the lovers somebody ain't happy see look at the lovers again Whew. could be a Gemini choices decisions an intimate partner someone may have taken a chance on a, on a third party here and I feel like it failed so why is the lovers here for Sagittarius? See, and there go the nine of wands. See, and there go the knight of wands. See, there you go. Some coming to an end. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Leo. Strength in the reverse. There goes courage because you got strength in the upright right here with the eight of pentacles. I feel like Spirit's telling somebody, you better take your power back and go do that work. Do what you need to do. Whatever that means for you, because I feel like something is ending. See, it could be your child's mother. Could be somebody you had children with or family with. Why is the will of fortune here for Sagittarius? Uh, divine time and good luck, good fortune, things are turning around. Uh, like I said, whatever's been stagnant, whatever your situation been in, it seems like it's been a hot mess. I feel like it's going to turn around for you, but it's not going to turn around without the work. So what's up with this Wheel of Fortune for Sagittarius with this financial health? The Wheel of Fortune. Mm. There go that Empress again. And there go the Ace of Cups. A new beginning here, but somebody's in denial here. So it's like some, some, somebody's trying to, things are going to turn around. I feel like maybe this is what it is. Things have changed. So this empress may not want to be bothered anymore. And there go the nine of swords in reverse. Somebody don't want to stress out. See? And there go the queen of pentacles here. See? Oof. And there go the seven of pentacles. Somebody taking stock. The feminine of this relationship, they out. See? They holding back. It could be the feminine that was spending the money reckless. Mm. So this could be a missed opportunity here. Well, you got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse for Sagittarius? So this could have been a marriage because like I say, you got family in the reverse. So it's almost like maybe someone had a family or they were living together or trying to uh, build something, but somebody was stepping out. Could have been the feminine. Ace of Pentacles, see? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Ten of Cups in the reverse. They go their family. I feel like because someone wasn't invested all the way because they was too busy outside in that night of wands, three of cups energy, three of swords energy, taking a, somebody took a leap of faith in the wrong direction and that slowed down everything. Eight of wands, see? Because there you go. Somebody was listening to their ego and their pride and they lost everything is what it seemed like, see? Now somebody here is going through those things because somebody needs to change, see? That's why somebody put an end to it. Somebody feel like they've been done wrong, see? And then somebody say, at this point, love ain't got nothing to do with it. Because if you love me, you wouldn't, did, you wouldn't have did me like that. See? Somebody feels like they've been manipulated. See? Three of Pentacles. In so someone thought that they had, somebody thought they had a real connection. And, and all of somebody's secrets and lies is coming out. And now somebody's realizing that they was not invested. They was invested in the streets. That's what I'm getting. Look, don't come for me. It's a general. Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Sagittarius? It's like somebody is wounded. <laughs> somebody's a wounded person here, but I feel like they still going to try to fight. Maybe that's what Spirit's telling you. Don't let this take you out because things can and do change if you put that work in and you change because I feel like things is changing all around, whether you're ready for it or not. 
But there go the page of pentacles in the reverse. They go the eight of pentacles in the Virgo. Somebody's in denial. I feel like somebody's too busy listening to their pride and their ego. See? Ace of swords and the nine of pentacles. See? Because I feel like somebody really do want to be single. So it's almost like if somebody really wanted to make things work, they would make it work. But I feel like somebody really wants to move on. Maybe maybe somebody wasn't happy. Because you do got the lovers in the four of cups. So, like I said, somebody could have not been happy in this relationship. So they were stepping outside. So it's just like a, a, a real awakening taking place. Somebody's realized that they didn't they didn't have what they thought they had. But even though things have ending, it's also going to um, allow new opportunities to come in too. And I feel like whoever the feminine is, they're moving forward. So now you got the five of one, page of ones in the reverse. But somebody was being very, very reckless and immature. Somebody could have had a gambling problem here. So why is the page of ones in the reverse? Someone could have not been responsible with their finances here and it cost a lot of stuff. See, page of wands in reverse and there go the lovers in the reverse, see? And like I said, somebody was very, very irresponsible. Somebody was a liar. A lot of gossiping. A lot of immature energy. I feel like someone said they had walked away from a third party, but they didn't. That's what somebody is finding out. Because you got the page of cups and the eight of cups in the reverse. And there's the Queen of Wands. I feel like somebody's realizing somebody didn't walk away from a third party. Mm. Three of Cups in the reverse for Sagittarius. Why is this here? Now, give me another card for this page of one. Take, I'll take five. Give me one more. No, I don't need no. Three of Cups. Why is Three of Cups in reverse? So, in other words, somebody could have not wanted something serious so they went outside i feel like somebody tried to make somebody initially may have tried to work on a relationship somebody could have even been married while somebody was stepping out because they was not happy somebody could have not been happy with the the you know what i'm saying they it wasn't good to them and somebody pleased them outside because you got the four cups next to the lover somebody wasn't happy somebody wasn't content with that see they go to star card in the reverse somebody losing hope I feel like somebody lost hope. Could be an Aquarius. But the sun will shine again. But I feel like the person that's walking out, they, they're giving up. See? And there's the devil. Somebody's leaving this. Because they feel like it was a lot of games. I feel like somebody waited for somebody. Somebody was hoping that somebody would change. But they never did do change. And it's almost like someone is like they're not going down with the ship. Ain't, ain't no bills ain't getting paid. <laughs> somebody probably getting evicted. Can't keep a roof over their head. Because somebody all out here in the streets and stuff. And there's the king of cups here. So I feel like somebody held back. See? And there go the four of pentacles. Somebody, wow, somebody, I feel like somebody was just damaged goods. Somebody probably was holding back from a marriage because they had, they was kicking with somebody outside. So the Ace of Cups in the reverse and you got the Fool in the reverse. Oof. I feel like somebody's learning some valuable lessons here. They go to Five of Swords. Manipulation, mind games, playing games, wanting to win at all costs. So someone missed an opportunity or all the love has run out. Whatever feeling somebody once had, I feel like that's gone. Now that somebody's secrets is out and now it's almost like, see, and there is justice. So yeah, this 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 end in ten of ones and there go the will of fortune. See? So like I say, somebody leave in this connection. Because they realize y'all can't work things out because somebody is all about themselves. Fool card in the reverse. It's, it's like somebody took a leap of, somebody took a chance on a sad person. And now some all they stuff coming out. See, and now somebody, they done. The fool in the reverse. Somebody ain't going to be no fool no more. See? Seven of swords. Because somebody's realizing somebody's not woke. They're not, they're not mature. They're not making healthy decisions. And they're going to have to look. There it is again, see? Five, <coughs> five of pentacles in the upright and the ten of pentacles in the reverse. There it is, see? 
So once again, Spirit is telling somebody, Yo, this stuff ain't going to change by itself. Don't you go down with the ship. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles and this Empress finna move on. And I feel like somebody finna be left stuck in debt. Because they're too pride to, prideful to make some changes or they feel like they don't have to. But like I say, the money ain't going to look right for somebody. Meanwhile, somebody moving on, they're they going to get it because you got the Queen of Pentacles here. Queen of Pentacles, the Will of Fortune. It's almost like what goes around, come around. Whatever side of karma you on, if you so uh, deceitful, deceit within your relationship, that's what's going to come back on you. If somebody tried to hold it together and try to do right, then that's what's going to come back on them. I see somebody's finances increasing, and I feel like the other person, their finances is going to get even worse. All right, uh, Sagittarius, happy birthday. That's your love reading for December. Please like, share, and subscribe.